SSA and BSCAI convention and we're on the trade show floor right now and I'm here with Todd Hopkins from Office Pride. Some of you may remember Todd, um, he was the star of one of our episodes of just a few weeks back. Yeah. So Todd was gracious enough to come and talk to us again. He's going to be talking later this week at the BSCAI convention on a topic that most of us, if you haven't had to deal with it, you can be assured that you will be dealing with it and that's customer complaints and your topic is how to handle customer complaints That's right. and so I wanted to talk a little bit about that he's going to hit some of the highlights of what he's going to be talking about more in depth later this week so one of the things that you're going to talk about is actually getting customers to complain and right. not cancel so why is that so important why would you want to get customers to complain well it's a um, it's a it's a big part of the process of of becoming a valued uh, supplier to the customer. We want our customers to complain. We really don't want to receive complaints, but if they're not happy, we want them to complain. And so many contractors, they set a goal that they, they want zero complaints this year. But really, our goal should be 100% customer satisfaction. If they're not happy, we want to know so we can take care of it. If they're not complaining to us and they're not happy, they're complaining to somebody. Yeah. And uh, we sure don't want to get a cancellation letter. And, and uh, we've known plenty of contractors, uh, including ourselves, who we think we have a ca happy customer and all of a sudden here comes the cancellation letter. So it's, it's very important that if the customer isn't happy, that they let you know. And, you know, interesting thing is a lot of times customers, uh, they, they don't want to even let us know. They're, they're afraid to deliver bad news. So we've got to make it easy for them. And, one tip that I give people is uh, to create an upfront agreement. The day you sign that contract is to uh, remind the customer that, hey, you're there to provide them a good service, good quality, clean building, and that you have a common goal, and that's to provide a good place for that customer's employees to work, for their customers to visit. And when they agree that, yes, you, you guys, we all have the same goal, then ask them, can we agree up front that if you're ever unhappy with our service, that you will call and let me know and I'll just agree to take care of it. And a lot of times they'll, and, and that's agreement we make up front and, and that makes it easy for them later to give us that call if they're not happy. Yeah, absolutely. That's such a great idea. So that's a great, great tip for getting them to complain. So yeah. now this morning I was at a Tom Peters um, seminar and he, well, he was the keynote speaker and he said something in his presentation that I thought was such a perfect fit for this. And he said, the problem is rarely the problem. The response to the problem becomes the problem, basically. So how does that fit in with complaints? I mean, how you handle that complaint become, can become the problem. Well, that, that's right. I mean, it's, it's where the rubber meets the road. It's where the customer finds out what we're really made of. It's as soon as they uh, give us that first complaint, how do we respond to it? And, and so um, it, it gives us a chance really to increase the value we deliver to the customer. If we, if we respond well to a customer complaint, the actual relationship we have with that customer is going to grow. Right. And of course, if we respond poorly, it's going to decline. But a lot of times, if a customer complains and we respond well, we have a better relationship with that customer than we would have if they'd never complained. Exactly. Yep. So. All right, so there are a few things that you really never want to say to a customer. Can you share a couple of those? Uh, well, there's, and there are. There's, there's a lot of things, but there's a few of them I'm going to be uh, talking about with the, the people here. And, and one of them is, uh, you know, sometimes you'll have a customer and they'll call and they'll say, nobody showed up last night. And, or, or this didn't get done or that didn't get done. And it's very important not to argue with them and, and to say, I know for a fact that got done. Uh, even if you did it yourself, because <laughs> one, they're going to believe that either you're lying and you're not telling them the truth or that you're not very good at it. So the be the, I, would, I wouldn't say that. I, I would never say, I know for a fact that got done. I would just, the best way to respond to it is, um, we'll make sure that gets done tonight. And, and so take, take the positive uh, solution approach to that. Right. Uh, there's other things that, that you never want to say uh, to a customer. If a customer uh, asks you to do something and it's not in the contract, it, it, you, you want to be careful to never say, well, that's not part of the contract. <laughs> because that, that's very frustrating to a customer. 
because usually they just want to make sure something's clean. So the best thing to do, I believe, is just to take care of that customer's need and ask them, would you like for us to add that to the service agreement? And that's just a much more positive approach, and it's a good way to increase your, um, your uh, revenue from that customer by asking them if, if they would like for you to add that to the service agreement. And then uh, finally, uh, I think it's very important that we never uh, tell a customer that something will never happen again. Let's say they call and say, well, you've missed the trash can under the uh, kitchen sink. And you tell them uh, that'll never happen again because it's, it's perceived by the customer as a false promise that you're making to try to make them happy. And so the best thing to do is to simply say, uh, thank you for letting me know. And um, uh, we're going to put system in place to make sure or to help prevent that from happening again. So there's, there's some things we should never say to a customer and then there's better ways to, to get our point across. Yeah, and I like that about we're going to put a system in place or even tell them what you know, the new system is that's going to take care of that. Because that's going to reassure them more than a promise that this is never going to happen again. Because they'll say, oh yeah, they'll get Sally in here next week who's a new employee and it's going to happen again. So, right, yeah. right, yeah. All right, so what about following up after the complaint? Can you give us some tips on that? It's very important to follow up. I've learned this the hard way myself. And First of all, when you receive a, play, a complaint, um, receive it graciously. Always thank the customer for calling you, for letting you know so that you can take care of it. But then after you've taken care of it, don't assume that the customer has noticed that you've taken care of it. People like to be validated. It's human nature. So it's very important for you to go to the customer and again, thank them for letting you know. Uh, let them know how you followed up and is there anything else you can do for them. That way they visually get to see that the follow-up has been completed and they can close that file. They don't have to wonder, did you ever take care of it? So it's very important because sometimes uh, it's possible that the same mistake could reoccur two, three weeks later and they may think you never followed up in the first place. So follow-up is very critical in uh, building your relationship with the customer. Right. Great. Great tips. So Todd, again, he's speaking at the convention, and if you're not here, well, then you're going to miss out on a much more in-depth um, discussion about customer complaints, and there's all kinds of seminars here, so I'm hoping that we can get more of you to come next year to the, and attend some of these seminars, see the trade show. It's really a great week here at the convention. Yep. So, and you can find Todd at officepride.com, and you can buy a couple of his books right on our website. So thanks, Todd. Thanks for having me.